what is up guys welcome to this edition of against all odds we are revisiting another save this week this comes this came from sash perennial i think in like november that was several months ago you may or may not remember this so uh, at least you have cavalry i mean should i be grateful that there sh should i be grateful that there are cavalry units in this army the bare minimum expecting the bare minimum from my army composition terrible army composition i can win the game by using suboptimal army compositions well it's stupid if you've already watch that video you're gonna have a treat over here me trying to go having another go at it with the, all of the tactics i've learned in the previous saves and maybe i might be able to eke out a victory this time if you're new here just gonna have some some cool tactics on display we're gonna be fighting the the nightmare hajo army of mostly samurai if this if this army if this army isn't bad enough the first army then the second army is mostly high experience bow samurai led by none other than takeda shingen and we have my favorite favorite fort map over here my absolutely favorite fort map if you know if you know anything about me you'll know i have a history with this map i just absolutely love it i have i have a, i have a cavalry heavy army and i uh, the one thing i need right now is waterways which nerf cavalry by making them slower and pretty much making it a no-go zone for charges if I have any enemy units in the in the shallows, my cavalry are gonna have reduced effectiveness, so it's just gonna hurt me even more. All of the bows are gonna be in the fort holding walls. They are not they are not effective enough or fast enough to be able to keep up with the fight outside. So they do what what they are going to do best, and I'm gonna be incorporating some tactics I've learned in the previous saves. I'm gonna be using this building in the center as an obstruction against archer fire. The reinforcing army is gonna come from the east on the minimap. So this, I'm anticipating that. I'm placing my garrison units right behind the wall, right behind the central building to give them cover so that they don't take any losses from archer fire. The only losses they'll be taking is from the melee, from units climbing up into the fort and trying to capture the flag. While the Yali Ashigaru are going to be playing the... are going to be taking the brunt of the damage outside the fort, we are going to take the fight to them and try and chain route the first army before turning our attention to the to uh to shingen's forces placing my yari ashigaru in a very uh deliberate formation in a sort of uh in a sort of box like diamond like formation the reason i'm doing this is the enemy cavalry takeda unit the takeda army has a few units of cavalry they're gonna come running across the whole map to try and hit my general in the rear motonari has stand and fight he is going to be sitting in stand and fight for most of the fight and a bunch of cavalry units are gonna try and get get a shot at him. Are probably gonna are gonna are gonna attempt charging him down. So those Yari Ashigaru in the rear are gonna serve as a protection for him. While the Ashigaru at the front are pinning down the melee units in the first Hajo stack, while cavalry swoop around to incite the chain route, and it helps. And it and it does help. It, it does help that. Uh, the um, the Hajo army does not have a uh, general and I'm also using another tactic I've learned I'm burning down these gates on purpose I'm burning down these gates on purpose so that my units can enter into the fort during the second portion of the battle potentially if I don't if I do not burn down the gates the enemy army is going to capture them and uh, I'll have to the only way I can get into the fort is either by burning them down which takes time or by climbing which takes time and also will cost me men and here is where the lines are being joined so we have I'm, I'm kind of worried about the firebomb throwers they might mess up the formation but they also need a certain line of sight and it seems like their own their own units the katana samurai and the yari samurai are blocking their line of sight and so they've walked into the melee stand and fight is beginning going for a, going for a wide flank gonna have gonna assign a target to each cavalry group i want to hit as many I want to get as many decisive charges on different units as possible. Spread out the damage. And already, already one unit is shattered and the rest are going to follow very soon. Yep. And that is that is the majority of the, of the first melee group gone. And now I'm trying, I'm, I'm hurrying to get my Yari Ashigaru turned around before they get charged in the back by Yari Samurai. And 
And because the water is going to be such a huge problem for my own cavalry, I'm forced to fight the battle on level terrain. I cannot stick on the slopes, otherwise I'm going to get chewed by both samurai. My Yachty Wilds will get chewed by both samurai. I'm trying to do something about this Yachty Samurai. These Yachty Samurai have so much experience on them that even, even with, all, with stacking these morale penalties on them, they are quite, they are quite tough to crack. Those are the Takeda Cavalry that I'm dealing with right now, thanks to... Thanks to... Uh, thanks to the AI really wanting to go for my general. And I'm trying to stagger my Cavalry charges as best as I can, so I'm not... I'm not sending them charging all at the same time. I'm sending them one by one with a few seconds in between i i'm not sure if you can stack the same morale penalty in multiple times from multiple real tra rear charges but i might as well and it also means i can keep the pressure up on the units by pulling out pulling out the cavalry before they start taking losses from the yachty samurai i cannot leave i cannot leave my cavalry in a melee with the yachty samurai and they've taken very few losses so far despite all of the damage they've done all of the routing they've done these these cavalry have done relatively i've taken relatively few losses because I'm, I'm making sure to keep my attention on them and micromanage them to the point that they don't that they barely take any losses you can already see arrow fire being ex exchanged in the distance near the fort now more yari ashigaru this is this is something i didn't anticipate i did not expect the yari ashigaru from the second stack to come peel off and go for my melee units outside of the fort and this is going to be really annoying because they're going to delay me from converging on the fort and trying to relieve the pressure on that side another unit of yari ashigaru that's going after my cavalry i absolutely hit this i'm trying to go for shingen there is no way there is no way that i that i can that i can win this without getting shingen units are not going to shatter if i do not if i do not get rid of shingen he's going to be providing not only a significant morale buff but they're not going to shatter when I need them to shatter. The secondary general is coming in. And look at look at this mess transpiring. And my and my garrison units are only now just starting to take losses. There there are I think there is an archer unit that does have a that does have their sights on them, trained on them. Yari, Yari Ashigaru coming to interfere with the general. What I'm gonna do here is I see this unit of cavalry coming over and I'm going to intercept it in the side. So I avoided taking a flat cavalry charge. My cavalry were spared from being charged by superior Takeda cavalry because I hit them in the side. But this Yari Ashigaru is really, really, really getting on my nerves. This one unit of Yari Ashigaru is getting on my nerves. My lord, their general has fallen. A cutting blow. But that is uh, both generals, I believe. Both, both Takeda generals are gone. And most of what we have to what we have left to deal with is bows, enemy archers, but they're already they've already chewed through my bows on the wall and my garrison units are starting to get under pressure. This water is really going to slow me down, is 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 going to slow me down so heavily just trying to get back to the fort. This is definitely an atrocious map. And this is I'm working under a limitation over here that I do not have any that i do not have any offensive infantry i don't have any good any full-sized katana units i have one unit of samurai retainers but i had to choose between using them outside or leave them in the fort to buy me time and i decided to go for the latter so i have to compensate i just have to compensate as best i can with good cavalry micromanagement but there's a limit to that there is a limit to what you can do with that no matter how well you micromanage them you are going to take losses you will just slowly but surely be worn down by attrition and the the enemy army has such high quality and such a high number of high quality units. They have so many high quality units and in such high quantities that I just, I don't see, I, I don't see how I could overcome this. Maybe if I had like one unit of guns, I, I'm sure one unit of guns would have been able to tip this in my... In my favor would have been uh, would have been would have gotten decent would have gotten good kill counts and been able to assist with a morale shock it would have been much easier to route these units outside the fort if there were guns firing on them but i do not have guns firing on them i just have pure melee power to deal with them and it's just not it's just not sufficient to deal with both samurai so i'm just trying to get in i'm trying to do as much damage as possible you know if i if i if i die if i lose i at least lose while fighting heroically
<laughs> and this shows you so this shows you guys what happens when you when the, the importance of bringing balanced builds of especially especially just a single unit just a single unit of katana samurai or uh, or a serious or a serious morale breaker like um matchlock ashigaru could really have a drastic effect on this battle and that is it that is a costly enemy victory this is a this has been an hour or a culmination of an hour of trying and just trying to eke out whatever whatever damage trying to do whatever damage i could do to the stack because again the point of this series guys is not just to win hopefully i mean i would i would love to be able to win these battles but it's also to showcase you know just how far you can go 2000 we 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 managed to take about 3000 soldiers with us and those are very high quality units the majority of those units that we killed are a high quality samurai and we got shingen so i'd say 50 50 i mean we lost our daimyo but they also lost their daimyo and if they're gonna go and attack kyoto next kyoto is right behind this province with a pretty large garrison i don't think i don't think they're gonna be able to take over kyoto yari ashigaru getting about almost 400 kills like there's no this is trying to get this is trying to get the best kill counts with units that have that have bad melee attack samurai retainer is getting nearly 200 they held surprisingly well despite getting swamped anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you sash you know it's, i mean it's been a while since i said this say but thank you just I, I love i love being able to showcase some tactics over here even if i do end up losing in the end maybe one day who knows maybe one day i'll be able to crack this i'll finally find a way to solve this but so far this is as good as i've gotten Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely appreciate the support. You can hop onto Discord and join in all the fun. We talk about everything gaming and non-gaming related. Find people to play games with. You can also uh, hop onto my Patreon, support the channel. I definitely appreciate the support and get access to exclusive videos. And you can also check out the merch store. Get your own branded merch caps, beanies, bottles, water bottles over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!